I had two mentors in Lansing, Michigan, where I grew up. And it wasn't about the little hot pants I used to wear down on that basketball court. <laughs> Boy, were they short too. I look at them now, bro, I don't know how I got in <laughs> Especially what I got back here. Bro. And so, <laughs> It's a true blessing, though, that somebody, those two guys, Greg Eaton and Joel Ferguson, took me aside, gave me my first real job where I could make money. Then I idolized both of them because they showed me that minorities could own businesses. So I was like, wow. I want to get next to you. I want to be like you one day. So here I am now being successful in business because of them too. These young men can be successful because of people like themselves. That's right. Who would have ever thought that I would own Starbucks and own 125 Starbucks, become the only person to own it? After eating surf sandwiches and <laughs> peanut butter with no jelly because we couldn't afford the jelly. <laughs> but they were still the days. I was just telling them I grew up poor, but I didn't have poor dreams. Come on, come on. God said, mm -mm. you're not going to be in this situation long as long as you educate yourself. And sure enough, to be able to say I'm the only person in America to be able to own Scarborough's. And then and tweaked it a little bit too. What's your name, young brother? Dave? Darius. Stand on up when I point to you, because I want them to see you. You're looking good. Yeah. <laughs> Howard Schultz and I made this deal, and you know, it was really funny, Darius, because we were negotiating, and he said, well, we don't have franchisees. I said, I'm not here to become one. I'm, I'm going to put up the money, you know, and so he said, okay, all right. <laughs> That's another conversation. So, you know, we, he had to talk to the board to allow this to happen, and they voted that we could do this, Darius. So what happened, Darius, he came down to my movie theaters. I built Magic Johnson theaters, as a matter of fact, one in Houston, Texas, and all over Atlanta, New York. So he come down on a Friday, Darius, and Whitney Houston's first movie was out, Way Next Hill. So I had 5,000 African-American and Latino women wrapped around the corner trying to get in to see Whitney Houston's first movie. So the lobby was alive. Hey girl, how you doing? And he said, man, I've never gone to a theater with this much energy in it, right? So the cash register is ringing, everything going good. And finally we got into my biggest house, which is 500 seats. And we went to sit down and I tried to tell him, Darius, that we go to the movies a little different than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so Darius, the movie starts and it's about 30 minutes in and every woman in there, Darius, thought they knew Whitney Houston personally, so they start talking to the screen. Girl, why are you still with him? <laughs> you should know him. Like Whitney gonna respond back. So Howard pulled me out of the movie theater and said, you know, Magic, I've never had a movie going experience quite like this. But you know what? Everything that I told him about our community, he saw it for himself. And that sealed the deal for me. So that experience at that movie theater allowed him to allow me to own Starbucks. And Darius, the only change I had to make, Darius, is that 
We wanted the coffee because a lot of people said minorities wouldn't pay three dollars for a cup of coffee. Yeah, we would. Yeah. We just quite don't know what scones are, so <laughs> there is. I had to take the scones out of my Starbucks. <laughs> Sweet potato pie, peach pie, sake to the cake. I'm sitting up there interviewing six billionaires to decide which one I'm going to partner with. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Kid from the ghetto. Come on. Yeah. Talk to us, Raised just like all of you. All right. And I'm interviewing six billionaires? What a blessing. But if I, wait a minute, oh, 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 oh. If I did get my education, Sir. Yeah. and take advantage of that education, then I wouldn't know what to say, what to ask, what to negotiate with them six billionaires. Right. So education is going to be the key for all of you to be successful. All right. Okay?